Okay, so this is working well. Let's go ahead and start some of this animation. So we want uh, these hammers to swing back and then hit uh, hit these two. This one should be heavy. This one should be light. And let's start setting that up. And so when we do animation, heavy animation here, uh, I'm going to switch immediately to the animate layout, the upper left hand corner up here. There's different layouts. Animate gives me all the things down here uh, and be able to work you know, with a much more robust timeline space. Um, so this is like the graph editor in After Effects. And if your objects are not showing up down here, uh, that's because either they don't have keyframes, um, you can drag, if an object's not showing up down here and you want to animate it, you can select that object and drag it down here. Okay. And um, remember, if we want to change the camera angle, we can stop looking through the camera and look around. And then when it comes time to render, look through the camera again. I lock down the camera so you guys don't accidentally bump it around. So if you want to look around the scene, undo, and uh, you can look around. Go. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and animate one hammer. Let's do the uh, front hammer here. I'll select it uh, here. There we go. And I'm going to come forward. We want to go back, but that's where it hits. And so um, I'm going to set a keyframe here. Uh, and I'm going to select the hammer, go to coordinates. And I really only keyframe the ones that I want to move. Here, the pitch. Uh, I'm going to set a keyframe just there. And now, if I select the rotation, you see that keyframe is there. This is F curve mode. This is keyframe mode. Okay, so right here, switching back and forth between keyframe and F curve. So uh, let's have just keyframe one while I'm getting them set. It. And so now, uh, let's have it pull back maybe slowly. And so uh, here, select the hammer again and back there set it again and then it's got to come down and hit a little bit quicker than the pullback and so in this case I know that's at the right impact position and so I'm just going to control drag that over here and so there we go that's then it has to go past a little bit and so I'll dial it up okay like that set that keyframe swing back So, a keyframe forward again, this time a little bit less, and go back. Just so it keeps swinging through the end of the shot. That way, and then that keep. And so, if we look at it, let's just hit play and see. Cool. Um, the general, this, you know, we've blocked it out here, and so now uh, let's go to F curve mode, and you can see that this isn't working quite as well because we are. This is, should be going back. Essentially, we want this to look like a sine wave going back and forth. And this wave should be getting slowly less and less. goes back and forth. Here, let's straighten that out. Maybe it goes past slightly less. And here we're accelerating. That's not bad. Let's see. So this is this uh, downstroke here is entirely too short. So I hold down Shift and drag these back like that, and we don't want it decelerating before it hits. So I'm gonna grab that one. Whenever I select keyframes in After Effects and Cinema 4D, I draw a square over them versus trying to click on it. Clicking on it can cause some other problems. And so here, this this one. And let's get these in 
Move them over. So, and it needs to be slowing down a bit more. I need to mess up the space. Please. Space. Please go. Let's see how that looks. Cool. This over. And uh, this. Okay, we don't want this one to go quite that far. This is the heavy ball, and so it needs to be sort of bouncing off of that. So I'm going to go ahead and shift, drag this. We don't go quite as far past, because we're going to not exactly bounce off of it, but a lot of the energy is going to be sucked up by just you know, hitting something that's heavy. And there we go, we're swinging the whole thing. All right, and so now let's put this ball in motion here. And so I am going to select the uh, there. And uh, right here is where we need to get some keyframes. So let's go ahead and select this and object, coordinates rather. And we need to move on the Z axis, set a keyframe for the Z. And uh, it needs to move, but not too far. And we want to see it come to a stop, so maybe there. And how far do we want it to move? Maybe. There. Let's look through the camera, see how that looks. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and so let's set the keyframe there. And so now, there's that automatic easing, which uh, we definitely don't want in this case. And so select this, I don't see anything, press H to reframe it. There we go. And so this needs to move quickly because all the energy is imparted at the beginning and then it slows down. So. Cool, that's good. Now we want it to roll too. And so let's come in here and uh, we want it to roll you know, primarily this way. It's going to be rolling this way. Negative. Okay. So back here, I need to set a keyframe here. And then as we get to the end of the it's stopping, I want it to roll. Be that far. And let's look at hit uh, H again to see those together. The control click on both and see them both at the same time, then press H. There we go. And so here is the rotation. And again, same thing. This one needs to start. Let's hit H to get a more resolution. It needs to start quickly and slow down. There we go. So they both sort of slow down. You need to get the, yeah, that's not too bad. Um, cool. So that's everything all together. I might tune that a little bit more, but I'm gonna select all of them and look at them, press H. And yeah, our hammer is kind of smushed in comparison to the other ones, but this is what everything looks together. I have a shot up above. So there we go, that's, that's happening. And so there's one hammer. Um, the other one uh, is in the example. So I'll give you half of it this time. We got this one there. Great. So that's one hammer in the impact now. And uh, yeah, and just have the other hammer to animate.